Hey guys, welcome back to another Groundbreak Games tutorial on using the Paragon Assets. Today I'm just going to show you how to fix up a couple of blend space issues, make the running movement look a bit more fluid, uh, make the character a little quicker, and then when he's walking, it's going to his feet aren't going to move so fast and it'll look a bit more natural. So you see we're running a bit faster in our sprint phase, and then uh, when we flip to sword, he's just walking a bit more naturally. And that's it. So it's going to be a real quick lesson today. Stay tuned. Okay, and let's get started. So the first place we're going to have to go is the third person blueprint. Blueprints third person character and open that up and we have a few changes to make on the speed first we're going to change the max speed on that sprint to 700 and then down here we're going to change the max walk speed on release of, of shift is going to be set to 300 and down here on our begin play, we're going to also set the release to 300. Compile and save. Okay, so now we just need to click character movement. And on the right, scroll down. And you'll see under character movement walking, you'll see max walk speed. So let's just change that to 700 and hit enter. Compile, save. And now that we've finished that, let's go back to content, mannequin, animations, and we're going to open up the third person idle run 2D blend space. Okay, so up here you'll see axis settings, uh, horizontal axis, <coughs> and we're going to change uh, the setting. The maximum axis value is going to be 600, leave minimum at zero, and then we're going to add the number of grid divisions we're going to change to six. And this should uh, give you guys a little idea of how you can go ahead and set up or uh, alter blend spaces how you need them. Uh, number of divisions is the lines you can place a different animation on and then minimum and maximum access values just uh, you decide what it is and then you set the number so if you were doing a different type of blend space to say turn in place um, you could just have your turn left animation set here and then instead of speed you would just use directional or rotation and then how many degrees it is. So this can change uh, depending on how you, whatever you need it for. So just as an example. Uh, so for now, leave it at speed, and you see we have six division lines to place animations on. So that's fine. And then what we want to do is move the jog animation one line over so that it sits at 400 instead of 300, and that should be good. And what we want to do is. <coughs> open up jog forward and we're going to set the, the rate scale to 0 0.7 and that'll slow him down just a little and it'll look a little more natural with the speed that he's actually moving. Okay now that that's done I think we're finished and we can double check. Go ahead and exit out of those. And now our run, his feet aren't moving so quickly while he's moving very slow. He's, he's actually running a little faster now, and his feet are a bit uh, more accurate to the speed that his body's traveling. And if we hit shift, our sprint is back to normal with the sword going to the back, and it is move, sprinting a little faster. So that was it. I just wanted to correct those couple issues before we move on to the next video where we will be changing the, the follow camera length with mouse wheel. So if you're interested in that, stick around and check out the next video.